Right then, should we, uh, should we do a rock hopper video? We've not looked at that for a minute. So if you're new to channel, um, you uh, may not know about my rock hopper. Uh, I've done quite a few videos on this bike now. I would probably even say, out of all my bikes, this has had its the most videos of its own than any other bikes. Most bikes have a couple of videos and that's about it really. This one I've had quite a few so far. Um, so much so, let's make a playlist. There's a playlist linked probably here. Um, this is all the Rock Hopper videos. So if you've not seen all of them, go and check it out. But for people that are new to the channel, the Rock Hopper was purchased from the wonderful Facebook marketplace um, probably over a year ago now. Um, and I picked it up for 28 pounds. I actually, um, after I collected it, I took some photos and put it on my Instagram and several people messaged me along the lines of, you I wanted that. But it was, uh, it was proper crusty. There was definitely some uh, rust and a lot of paint missing from the bar, uh, from the frame as itself. Um, it was pretty much completely original bar the tires and the saddle, I think. Everything else, Pretty, seemed pretty much original. So version one was kind of like a, a neo retro mountain bike. I had some nuke proof bars and stem on it. Uh, obviously a charged spoon, love those things. Uh, the crank set was uh, a trivative crank set. Um, micro shift advent x uh, group set on it as well or drive chain at least um and it was it was sick and um, the only thing i didn't like about it uh was the fact that the geometry of this frame had quite a upright upright stem had a lot of rise on it uh so when i put these really flat bars on there it kind of hunched me quite a lot and it was quite fun on trails and kind of like a little bit more kind of like aggressive stuff but as soon as I was kind of like out on the countryside trying to get between places like my back started hurting a little bit it just wasn't that comfortable uh, then I started working on kind of like a bit of a bike packing setup I've been playing a lot with bike packing lately um, so much so I do have a lot of parts for a bike packing retro build that I want to do over the next couple of weeks so if you're uh, into bike packing um, I would definitely subscribe to the channel because uh, there's a lot of that coming especially now spring is just around the corner but I uh, I added a few bags to it uh, I even started buying some cooking stuff so I can go and try it out uh, one of the last videos I did with my dad uh, on the, the switch bike uh, we put the uh, we went out and tried out some of the camping stuff as well uh, and the bike looked like this and uh, I really liked it uh, the only issue still was the fact that it was still a little bit low with these handlebars. Spring forward to this video uh, we are going to be putting some different bars on it uh, and uh, some commuter tires and kind of make it a bit of a city ripper uh, but let's go and take a look at the bike and move on from this and uh, I'm waffling. Let's go play with the rock hopper. Okay then so this is the way the rock hopper looks currently and it's bike packing form. But today we're gonna to turn it into a city ripper, whatever that means. So the Blackburn cages, which I highly recommend by the way, are being held on by hose clamps. Um, I wanna do a video in a bit more detail on this, um, but for this build, we don't want them, so we're gonna pull them off. I love Billy Bonkers, but again, for my city ripper, these tires aren't quite right. The handlebars, again, love, but we're gonna put something special on there. The drivetrain is definitely gonna be overkill now, but I'm too lazy to change it, so we're keeping this. And that's that, really. We can uh, start ripping some parts off. I love this mini ratchet I use for like kind of those hard to get to things, stuff like bottle cages and stuff. Uh, this one's made by Bosch, but annoyingly the little switch to take to, for it to go right or left or tighten or loosen, um, it, you knock it constantly because of where it's positioned. So if anybody has one that they rate better than this one, let me know because uh, I love it, but this one's a piece of junk. I want to give it a good clean whilst I've got the wheels off especially and uh, I find it really difficult sometimes to clean the chain and the mech whilst the wheels off 
Uh, these little park tool pulleys, I don't know what it's exactly called, some number and letter combination I'm sure. Um, I really, really rate, I quite like them. Uh, it makes it kind of basically works like normal, but whilst the wheel's off, which is nice. For the cleaning, I'll be using all the usual suspects. Um, this drivetrain cleaner from Markoff is a little bit more potent than the pink stuff, so especially on the drivetrain and then like on the bottom bracket, kind of like where all the real bad grease and mud builds up, I use that. Um, and then I'll probably use a bit of pink stuff on the rest of the frame as well, and then just give it a good old wash down. I'm gonna use some uh, Markoff silicon spray on the frame as well, just cause it's gonna be commuter. It's lots of road grime and stuff for it to kind of kick up or kick up onto the bike. And um, this or uh, GT85 as well is really good for this sort of stuff. Anything kind of like, yeah, silicon sprays. I then decided what I really wanted to do was peel off the sticker decals that are on these rims. I've been thinking about doing it for ages and I decided today was the day to do it. It took me flipping ages, but it did look way better once I was done. The tyres of choice are my DTH uh, by Maxxis. These are the 2.3s. Uh, I really like these. And they fit real nice. They're 2.2s, not 2.3s. As you guys know, I do love these handlebars, uh, but I've got something kind of special that I want to try out on this. Uh, so I just needed to strip it all back down again. I'm forever dropping bolts, uh, but this bank stem has these little washers on the actual bolts. So when you do put off, they stay within it, which I highly rate. I think that's quite a cool little feature. So the bars in question are these Spanx skyscrapers. Uh, I think the rise is about 60 mil, which is uh, the highest rise I think I've used on a handlebar before, so it's kind of cool. Um, a lot of you have also bought these bars. Uh, I, when I posted this on Instagram, tons of you were like, hey, I bought those too. Uh, Wiggle and Chain Reaction have a mad sale, and um, the stem was actually from that sale as well. But um, yeah, let's get these on. So once they were on, uh, it was a case of just rebuilding the cockpit, uh, getting the grips back on, and um, that was it, really. It was, uh, it was time to go and look at it. And that's that, that's brought us to the end of another video. Uh, thank you so much for watching it. Um, this is probably, definitely, 100% not the last time we see the Rock Hopper. So much so, maybe the next video will also be the Rock Hopper. The reason I say that, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, um, I love this bike. I love the way it's set up. The spank bars are sick, um, but it just, it's still not quite right. So we're gonna have another run at it. Probably some different bars, because that's kind of what I do. I buy lots of handlebars and tires. That's kind of my thing. Um, so I do want to try something else. If you've got any ideas for handlebars, um, especially for like commuting, that's what we're probably gonna use this bike mostly, currently at least. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, there are some new stickers either coming or maybe even already on the website. Um, if they are on the website, uh, do check out the website here uh, and see what's available. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video and you can't wait till the next one, uh, this one, this one's a particularly good one. You'll like that one. <laughs>